That guy's been a friend of mine for 20 years. He's one of the most stand-up, solid dudes that I've ever met in my life. If he gives you his word, done. These arenas didn't want us sit there. They're like, whoa, we, we don't want this stuff at our arena. So we had a hard time finding venues. And uh, Trump literally called us. Now remember this, think about this, where the Trump brand was. Here, the UFC brand was down here. Come to my place, you know, do the event here, we'll have you at the Trump Taj Mahal, blah, 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 blah. We get there, greatest setup for us, he did this whole thing for us, showed up to the first fight, and was there till the last fight. Both times we went there. Everything that happened to me in my career from there on out, he would pick up the phone and congratulate me or send something. So then he, uh, he calls me and says, I'm running for president. Now listen, if you don't want to do this, I completely understand, but I would be honored if you would speak at the National Republican Convention for me. Everybody told me not to do it. Everybody. And I'm like, this guy, all the things that he's done for me, I'm going to tell him no. Yeah, no, that's not me. Yeah. I went up and I told people the truth, who he is.